Hi everyone, it's Therese. I am back with another video and today I am super excited to share a project that was in the making for several weeks because D from D Special Things um, was going live, um, I think it was every Wednesday for the past three weeks or so. Um, she was showing us how to make a hot air balloon with a light bulb. Um, Tina, who's tell him thank you here on YouTube, she showed, um, oh, excuse me guys, oh, gosh, I hate when this happens. Come on, computer, okay. <laughs> Um, Tina showed her progress um, and I shared some of mine on um, Instagram. Um, I'll have my Instagram down below if you're interested. <laughs> um, anyway, so I was intrigued, very, very intrigued by this project that she was showing. And I have to say, I absolutely love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, because I think it was Tina that said on her live that because I didn't know where I was going to get a light bulb, you know, because now the LED lights are, well, they used to be those spiral ones. And I was like, and, and we um, installed it all in, in our household. So anyway. I didn't know where I was going to get a light bulb, and Tina said, Therese, they have them at Dollar Tree. And I couldn't believe that I found one. The perfect size, the perfect shape to me, um, because D showed you how to use different types of light bulbs, different shape of light bulbs, I should say. Um, it was unbelievable. Go check her out, guys, because she has creative ideas, and um, I just love her style. I love everything she makes. Um, her Julie Nutting projects are unbelievable. So, oh my God, I can't believe I'm showing this, but I absolutely love I finished my... Um, balloon today because she did the um, her I guess it was her last hot air balloon tutorial it was just how to make these little sandbags that I'm going to show you and um, yeah I think it was this just the sandbags I was asking because I wasn't sure how to make them um, but, okay, so mine is sort of a steampunk <laughs> kind of um, balloon, okay? Um, as you can tell, it is a round balloon, and I'm going to put it on its side. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, oh, I guess I can do it like that. Um, I guess, first of all, I decoupage um, pattern, you know, that tissue from patterns, you know, and I did it all the way around. Okay, so that was the first step that we had to do. It was like homework, <laughs> which was nice because then you get to do step by step with her. I just love that idea, and um, I think everybody that was there really enjoyed it because um, Dee is just, she has such a creative mind. Anyway, then the next week she showed us how to add the hanging element to it. You could use a bottle cap like I have here. You could use a button. You could use... Um, a wood piece I think she did one time um, and you strand or you strung I'm sorry um, twine I think it was like a yard of twine and you made a knot you glued it and then you glued 
you well you separated them I think we did double double yardage <laughs> um, I hmm, not sure but if you go and check her videos out she does tell you how many yards to use and how many I think we used one two it was four four strands of a yard one yard each okay then she shows you what to do and where to glue the um, twine. Um, what was the next one? Oh, I think she told us to decorate it. Um, and this is how I decorated mine. I used some, I think this is like braided trim from the... What is that ribbon bundle that everybody was getting at um, Michael's when the pandemic started? Um, I got the neutral colors and I think I got the pastel colors because there was a lot of pink. And anyway, <laughs> um, and then I added some buttons. Oh, let me come down a little bit. Um, I added these buttons um, that I um, removed the shank on the back and this is a clock and then here's um, some gears and then the other the other four sides is the same thing gears and a clock this is hard too <laughs> I added some corner metal pieces that I got from Monica who's scrapping for my boys long time ago I thought it just might I was crafting with a friend and um, they suggested to to do this and I was like oh my god that is so perfect and I did it on all four sides um I hung some chain that I got from um BB crafts um long time ago <laughs> um so I hung it all the way around and I added this um, charm. Oh, I can't, you can't really see it. Okay. And then um, she told us to cover the um, bottom of the bulb with some jute or um, canvas, or I think I had some. Uh, I think I wrapped it with this. Um, what do you, burlap. <laughs> couldn't even think and I added more chain and an, and this is a um, heart um, button I can't really show it very well but before I covered the bottom she had mentioned or suggested if you wanted to add tool to to look like you know the hot air is coming out and I was like yes ma'am I'm gonna do that I think that was an awesome idea so first I um, glued some tool all the way around the base um, then I covered it with the burlap then I wrapped um, some twine um, around it and then I glued the chain and then the buttons to it so I just love how that turned out um, Gosh, I can't really show you. Okay, so as we come down here, I added more gears, gear buttons, and another chain that kind of gathered the um, twine um, to the center, I guess. And then she, I think the next week we learned how to make the box. Um, her box, she measured out, it was... <laughs> three pieces of two and a half by two and a half and two pieces of two and a half by three um and i do have it here um but i did not use it because it was a little bit big for my bulb um so this is oops <laughs> i have more gears there um so this is the box that i had made with her directions and I just thought it was a bit a little bit too big for my bulb um, so my measurements is two and a half by two and a half all the way around uh, I just thought it it um, 
went really well. Okay, so after I made the box just like this, I used washi tape, and then after that, I Mod Podge more of that um, pattern paper all the way around, even inside um, and on the bottom. There it is. Um, then after it dried and everything, I wrapped twine all the way around it. Uh, well, no, I'm sorry. I added some um, eyelets to the corners of the box. Then I wrapped twine all the way around the entire box. Okay. And those are my little bags. <laughs> <laughs> I was only going to make a couple bags, but Judy, I was crafting with Judy um, this morning and she told me, no, Teresa, you got to do four of them. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. <laughs> okay, so what I did was I strung the twine through the eyelet and I glued it all the way down to the um, edge of the box. I left like about three inches to the bottom. I knotted it and added a um, gem to the bottom. And I thought, I was looking at pictures of, you know, hot air balloons on Pinterest and even on Google. And, you know, um, I just thought these just added um, a little something to the box. Um, then I use these wood beads from Michaels that says, this one says live, this one says dream, this one says laugh, and then the other one is love. And um, Miss D, she did want, she used beads up here, and I it said 2020, I believe, and I thought that was that was a really cool idea and I I have my beads or those wooden beads in these containers over here and I was like oh my god wouldn't it look cute to dangle it down here so I just you know she was inspiring so I I used um the same idea for the for these wood beads um and then I um added my little bags I'm going to bring it up closer. Um, I used it, I just did it the way she um, suggested on her live. And I had this strip laying here and I was like, okay, so I'm just going to roll it up just like that. And then I glued the end um, and then I cut it. Then I glued it together and then this opening, I kind of like scrunched it to look like a bag because when I tied it, because this is burlap, it's pretty tough. And when I tied it, it didn't have that baggy look. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so I, I scrunched it up and I glued it together and then I tied it with my um, twine. And then I made a bow um, to each of the bags and they're all different size, which I think is really cute. Okay. Then, um, then I added, um, a stairs, it's not stairs, but a ladder <laughs> with some, um, oh, what do you call these? Matchbooks. Matchbooks um, twigs from Michaels. I couldn't find them at the Dollar Tree. They're a hit and miss in my area, so I could not find um, that, um, little sticks like this. I, I know I've seen them there, and um, Misty, she said that they were there as well, and I couldn't find them. So I found a bag I think it was, you know, create, uh, createology um, in the kids section, and um, I think these were, I know these were three dollars, but look, I have a ton of them. I don't even know what I'm going to do with them. <laughs> I'll think of something, I guess. Um, and I just, you know, 
glue them on with hot glue and there's a whole bunch of glue on there um, with um, I think she said six inches of twine and I think it just adds a little something to the hot air balloon so and then each one of the um, ends of the the twine I have these really pretty gems on the end they kind of look like weights you know when you when I don't know <laughs> I guess when they're you know in the air um, they're um, they need it to hold them steady I guess I don't know <laughs> so here is my hot air balloon um, and I, I love, I love my little balloon. It is so cute. It is something I've never made. And um, what a great idea, Misty. Thank you so much for your time and for your creativity because, I mean, I, I love it. And I, I, I think I want to make another one, but more of a, more of a, maybe a shabby one. I don't know. I will see. But thank you so much for your videos. I so appreciate it. Um, so thanks everybody for watching and um, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks everyone.